Hello Team Capricorn, it's Empire333. Welcome back to my channel. Capricorn, this is your love tarot reading. Okay, wherever you have Capricorn placements or you're dealing with the Capricorn. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. What energies you're in, we're going to check the energies of whoever is coming into your energetic field at this time. Okay. So let's see, Spirit, what can you tell me for Capricorn? What do they need to know? Okay, Moon. Oh, oh my God, I was getting this clairvoyantly, okay? Somebody, you're really thinking of someone, and someone is thinking of you. Who is this? King of Swords energy, okay? Um... You know what it feels like, Capricorn? I feel like some of you are, you might be doing some type of magic, okay? Or like you're doing some type of manifestation and you're in your feelings about it because I feel that you want to get some clarity on a situation. So it's like you're doing some type of manifestation, okay? Now, these could be prayers, you all. There's manifestation comes in so many different forms. So um, I feel that some of you are like, okay, it's not working. I'm not getting what I want kind of a thing. So let's see about that. Spirit, tell us what Capricorn, what's coming in for Capricorn, okay? Who or what? Okay. Okay, we got the devil energy. That's you. And we have the ace of coins on the bottom. Okay, so there's this queen of wands. Genders does not matter now. It's just energy. I feel that you have a very strong attachment. Like a, not attachment. Okay, that was a spiritual slip. You are really attached to someone. You think that they are attractive is what I wanted to say. Okay. Someone here is really like, you feel like this person has a hold on you or something like that. Okay. That's what it feels like. So someone's got a hold on you, but they're not making any moves. Okay. I feel that some of you are on a break with someone. Okay. And this could be someone you just met recently, Capricorn. I don't know. <laughs> Or you could be, you haven't met them yet, okay? This could be future reading right here. Let's see. Ooh, we got the Ace of Coins. Okay. So it looks like something is stalled, okay? Somebody's energy is stalled here. I feel that whoever this is, they put a hold on the situation, okay? Okay. Let's see why, because it's like, I feel like this person is, does want to move it forward, okay? Whoever this is, Capricorn, they do want to move it forward with you, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Huh. Ooh, I love this sun card. You know what? Whoever this person is that's coming in or is like, I feel like you could be on a break with this person, Capricorn. This is a newer energy, okay? This is not the person that you've been with for like ever, okay? Let me know how long you were with the last one, Capricorn. Um, nine years I'm getting for some of you, five years. This is about someone making a change in their life, okay? So whoever this is, they're making a change, okay? Um, it, it varies, obviously. This is a general reading, but someone here is making the changes in order to come back in, okay? So maybe also, like, it, it doesn't even have to be a break. You could be in communication with someone or talking to someone. I just heard online. Some of you are talking to somebody online. Um, and this person, why did I get the word king? King? I don't know. Maybe you look at this person like they're royal or something. 
or like, um, you know what song I heard uh, by Sade? Your love is king, okay? So you think this person's love is going to be king, okay? And gender doesn't matter, guys. It could be queen, whatever, okay? Whatever you like. So this is someone who is realizing now in order for you to be connected in a good way, they have to make some changes in their life, okay? In order for things to move forward between you and them, we're going to get advice in a second, guys, and more intuitive messages. But this is someone who wants to move this forward, but... They don't know how to approach this, okay? Because there's they have some things to clean up, okay? Is what I'm hearing. In order, you know, for them to be happy in this connection, okay? This person is dreaming of you. So I don't know if this person keeps creeping up in your mind. I feel like you guys meet at the dream space, okay? You know what? You could be an astro, like a, what is it called? Astral traveler or, oh, lucid dreamer or they are. That's what I'm getting. And this person and you, you're a great match, okay? I don't know who this is, Capricorn. Let me know. I feel like some of you, are you were really excited when you met this person okay you're just like whoa who is this right and if you haven't met them yet they are coming in okay um i just saw a skeleton okay so i don't know if this person is like a doctor or i don't know a physical therapist or Whoever this, you know, it doesn't have to be guys, but or they could be a Scorpio, okay? So this is the moon and the sun together, and this is like yin and yang, okay? So you and this person, there is so much potential here, okay? And the other thing is this person is heavily working on what I'm hearing is they're heavily working on their finances, okay? This is a great energy because if you're a feminine watching, you're really in your feminine energy, okay? You're creating, you're manifesting, and this person is their ma in their masculine energy because we got the sun. So this person is working on their financial um, independence. Okay. So let's see what spirit wants to say about this. Okay. I'll see their next moves in a sec, but I want to know what spirit has to say to you. What advice spirit do you want to tell Capricorn? And guys, make sure that if you, um, like my vibe and style of reading to subscribe, hit that bell and turn on the notifications for me thank you and if you're interested in personal readings uh that information is down below in the description box tenderness speak gently to yourself you know someone else got this too i think if it was virgo i don't know if you have virgo placements but or was it leo no actually it was taurus i don't know okay anyways this is about you speaking to yourself gently. So you know what I feel? I feel that you are frustrated at yourself. Because you, you, okay. Some of you are questioning your manifestation skills. You're like, it's not working. Whatever I'm doing, it's not working, okay? But spirit has, you know, their own time. This person, like I said, they have to make changes before they come back into your life or be before they move it forward with you, okay? So what else, spirit? Love. 
Choose love. Let your love become a powerful force for change. Hold on. Dance. Step into the light. Share your gifts and talents with the world. Okay, so there's something about you and your power that you're not use, utilizing. So you've got power, okay? It could be you have power in manifesting. You have power in a way where you have resources that you haven't even tapped into Capricorn. Now, this could be... Uh, you know, affecting your career. It could be affecting, oh, I just heard your business for some of you, okay? There's things you need to tap into you haven't tapped into yet, okay? And also, you got to have patience. The way manifestation works is like you do manifestation, you do the modality, and then you pull your energy back. You don't fixate on when it's coming. Look at her, okay? Whether you're her or him, <laughs> um, Look at, she's like, come on, when are you coming in? You know, it's like that kind of energy, okay? So patience, because patience is trust. Trusting that it's going to come in when it's supposed to come in, okay? Release. So have a good cry. Grief is a doorway to your deepest self. I feel like a lot of you... Um, you oh, how should I say this? Like, you, I feel like you haven't had fun for such a long time. Life has been so serious for you, Capricorn. And Spirit wants you to have fun, okay? Because it's not about everything just being serious. They want you to have fun. Bring your inner child out, okay? Give her or him a hug. And Spirit's saying, like, you can't do it all. Like, I think you, you really need a... A vacation, a mini vacay, okay? You need a vacation, Capricorn. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit, what is coming in? Oh, this is too many cards. Spirit, hold on. Let's do it like this. All right. Spirit, what do you want Capricorn to know? Veneration. Ooh. Okay, yes, this is about pleasure. What I was saying, okay, delight, pleasure. This is about you being in your feminine energy of creativity, okay? And veneration with Uriel here is like, that's when you're going to be venerated. You're not using your gifts, your talents, your skills, okay? Some of you might not even know what talents you have, or... Okay, this is what I heard. Some of you have talents and you're just doing it the same way other people are using their talents. And it's like, no, you got your own unique way, Capricorn. You got to bring that out because that will be successful for you in your money, career, and, okay, in your love life, in your romantic life, okay? So I'm going to see what steps, I mean, what steps... <laughs> This person's going to take, I guess they're going to take some steps towards you. Wow. Okay, let's see. Spirit, what is this person's next steps towards Capricorn? The person Capricorn is dealing with. Okay, good. Knight of Cups. All right, I like this. And nine of cups. So this person is going to put effort into this connection. Okay. And I think it's because. You know what I just heard? I heard that. Were you moody the last time you saw this person or you connected with them? You were moody. And this person got kind of confused by you, okay? Or they they got overwhelmed with your emotions. I don't know. If you're a female, were you like PMSing <laughs> or something? I don't know. You know when you like PMS and your like mood is like all over the place? Or maybe you were really emotional and it, they were just like, what is going on with Capricorn, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be, guys, 
you don't have to be PMS. Maybe you're not even female or you're not, you know, um, of age, whatever. Okay. But this person, okay, there definitely is some sort of stalemate between you two that's going to end. This person is going to come forward because they realize that you can bring them wish fulfillment. Okay. You can bring them some sort of satisfaction. Okay. And what are their intentions with this spirit? What are their intentions? Okay. Ace of Cups and Justice. So this person wants to be fair. They want something fair with you, okay? Whatever that is for you. Um, this is a really good sign. I love Aces, okay? I love Aces more than, you know, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, because it's like an inflow of loving energy, okay? It's kind of like, um, it's even forgiveness. So I don't know if this person is supposed, if this is a peace offering, okay? And this person might apologize to you, but I feel that it's more of, I want something fair, okay? This is Libra, Justice, Ace of Cups, Scorpio, um, what is, what's fair to them, spirit? Let's see what's fair to this person. Okay. I guess, I don't know, Capricorn, either this person waited for you to get their senses together or you are waiting for them. They know that you don't want to, somebody doesn't want to wait much longer, okay? Maybe it's you. Maybe you made it like, I'm not waiting around for you, honey. Like, I waited for the last one for 10 years. They didn't do anything or for a long time. I'm not waiting for you. So this person is definitely, I'm telling you, they're being very proactive with making changes in their life, okay? Whoever this person is, like, they're, they're like setting up something, okay, for you in order for them to come in. So the stalemate is going to end. Whatever the stalemate is, is going to end. I feel like this person is coming around. Um, and there's definitely big change in this connection, okay? Ooh, we got the high priestess. I love this energy. So definitely you both, I'm telling you right now, you're connecting in the in the dream space, okay? You definitely are, and the stalemate is going to be over soon, okay? Yeah, I, this person is going to reach out to you for sure, okay? Um, by the, I just heard for some of you, okay? Don't take this like it's set in stone, but by the next new moon, this person will reach out to you. So just be patient, you know. Stay put, okay, and follow your dreams, okay, Capricorn? That's what they're saying. Follow your dreams. Bring out that creativity, that creative spark that you get. Bring it out and be unique. Don't follow what other people are doing. Be your own, you know, whatever skill you have, talent you got, gift you got, bring that forward, okay? That's going to really help you in every part of your life, your love life, your career, your money, your abundance, everything, okay? I hope that this resonated and it helped you in some way. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're still here. And peace out, Capricorn.